What is going on, fellow game developers? My name is Muddy Wolf, and we are back with another VR tutorial. In the last one, we allowed you to be able to pick up objects, move them around, clash them together, uh, interact with them, so being able to grip and trigger them, um, and also being able to just stack these blocks on top of each other, which is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, that's what we built in the last video. In this one, I'm going to show you how you can actually move and turn. Because currently, the only way we can move is by moving in real life. And the only way we can turn is by, again, turning IRL. Um, so what we want to do is just uh, allow you to actually be able to turn and look around using the joysticks on the uh, controller. So let's get into that. All right, guys, I just want to mention the source code for this will now be up on Patreon. So if you want to support the channel and get access to all the source code, you can head to the link in the description and actually uh, get this source code for all of this. Everything in here, all down below. So the first thing we want to do is on our XR Origin, we need a locomotion system. Now, a locomotion system allows you to obviously use a locomotion. So here, if you search for locomotion, it comes in with the XR um, interface interaction toolkit we can select um a locomotion system and we just need to give it our origin which is actually the script we have on our origin here now you can create a new object in here to handle the locomotion i'm just going to do it on our main origin it doesn't really matter you can choose where you put this it doesn't even have to be on this object at all um but anyway so now we've got that the next thing we want is to actually add in a provider now a provider tells um the locomotion system how you want to move so if we go here and we add in a move provider you can see we have two different move providers you have the device base or the action base now we want the action base i've never used the device base i've always been told to just use the um action base there's probably a use case for it i don't know what that is um so what we need to do is add in the locomotion system to the system here we can change and tweak the move system or move speed i like to set it about two i like to be quite fast and then when we're using gravity I, you, there's two modes you can have attempting to move which means when you first press forward or use the joysticks um it will then apply gravity so you'll be floating until you do that or one of the ones i prefer is just using gravity immediately it means as soon as you start the game the simulation will be running um, which is great and the forward source in our case is going to be our main camera this is just going to say um, when we're looking forward we want it to actually go in the direction of the way we're looking and not anything else you could add in for example your right hand and this will basically move you in a direction direction of your hand so if your hand is facing to the right and you're looking forward you'll actually be moving right if you're pushing forward but i prefer just using the camera again this is totally up to you do what you want with this one now when it comes to the action you can see here it asks you for the action you want to press on your controller um, to actually perform the movement now the one i prefer to use is the um, left hand i think most games use the left hand controller uh, to actually move but you can also use Use the right one to move as well just by setting it in the same way we're going to do the left so here you can see left hand move action we're going to select use reference and then actually select a reference from in here now we want to type in left hand um, and look for the move provider you can see it says here forward slash move which is actually going to reference the left joystick now you can if you wanted to um do the exact same process for the right hand and just look for the right hand locomotion move uh, but again we only want it for our left so i'm just going to use that for our left now with that all in place we should now be able to move so let's hop into the vr and actually give this a test and there you go you can see we can now actually move in our scene we can pick stuff up and still move although you can see the actual physics object has a bit of a weird um movement because we're actually using uh transform and translations to actually move rather than physics and you can see here we can move around you can also see we can move through objects and everything we're not actually colliding with anything we're kind of like a ghost Ooh, i am a ghost i almost punched my mic over i apologize um and yeah so you can see we can now move around i'm just moving using my left hand to look around if i look left and i push forward you'll see we go in that direction but my hands are both facing that way 
and so forth if I look left or right I can move only in the way I'm looking by just pressing forward so if I was to continuously look around I would be moving in the direction if I'm holding forward you can move left or right and so forth but you you kind of walk through things which is probably people don't want that now that's where a character controller comes in so let's actually add in a character controller to allow us to move in the way we want okay guys so back in our scene here we want to click on the XR origin and again we just want to add in a character controller component you can see it looks a wee bit big there so what we're going to do is we're going to put radius to 0 0.1 that should be about right it's nice and skinny there and then we're also going to be moving up the y to bring it to sit on the uh, axis there you can adjust the height if you want so um, it's not so tall but i think when a human is standing up two meters is roughly their height it's just slightly under like 1.8 isn't it well for six foot um so something like that you could probably change this up i think if you go for like 1.5 you'd probably need to change this to 0 point seven five to actually have it stood up right you'll need to tweak this so it matches and there you go you could probably go for that that probably work nicely so let's actually just try this out and see if we collide into our table here which has a box collider already on it and there you go you can see we're in it i'm pushing forward on my controller but i am not going through the box you can see we actually get stuck on objects now and we're actually able to essentially collide with things. Now, another issue is I can't turn again without using um, my uh, actual real life by turning around. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in a snap and a continuous move provider. And I'm going to show you how that works now. So over on our um, XR origin, we just want to add in a snap term provider action based dragging in the locomotion system we can change the amount of snapping so 45 means we'll snap 45 degrees we could put this 90 so if we snap we look exactly right or left depending on which way we turn um, and you can see enable turnaround this yeah so if you press down on your um uh analog stick your turn movement it will actually snap you 180 to make you turn 100% around this really cool feature I actually like this in a lot of games some games don't have it but I personally would have it because I just enjoy it so what you can do is you can set up the um, snap turn on any control but I, pr I recommend you don't do it on the one you're moving on meaning we should probably use the right hand joystick um, so I'm going to select right hand and I'm going to put in the right hand and there is a turn locomotion here you can do it for the left if you want to switch the controls around uh, but we're going to do that now just before we start there is another provider which is called the continuous turn provider and it is the same thing but instead of snapping it actually moves um, linearly or smoothly around so you don't just snap around I like to set this to about 80 on the speed drop in the locomotion set up the right hand with the same um, right hand uh, turn but I'm going to turn this off because you can't use both of these at the same time. You could set up a settings menu where you could actually switch between the two. And I'll show you how to do that in a later video if that's what something you guys are interested in. Uh, but I'm just going to stick with the snap turn and show you how this works. And then we'll swap to the continuous and I'll show you how that works as well. So let's hit play. All right, guys. So we are in. And now if I press on the stick, you can see I'm actually snapping around 45 degrees, which is perfect. So now I can snap around and actually look left right. If I press back on my D-pad, I actually snap 180 so if you see that I'm actually fully turned around and there we go so you can see that is a really cool and simple um, feature if you hold it down you'll slowly just constantly snap around and you'll just probably get sick after a while although snapping is less sickly than the continuous move that's for sure so let's actually switch to using the continuous move so first thing first let's just stop and actually turn on continuous move and turn off the snap provider here and let's just hit play so now you can see we are in the game and i can um, connect to walk into the wall still but instead of snapping you can see you actually turn smoothly which in my opinion is quite sickly um i'm not a massive fan of the uh <laughs> 
the old turning movement but you can see here it's super good and it works really well so you can turn left and right easily just by moving the stick and it's more of a smooth movement um so if you want that smooth movement in like a sort of gun game or something like that you'll probably want to use this one um or give the user the option to use both i think it's best practice to give them a menu where they can actually choose which preferred method they uh well the one they prefer the most all right guys so that is going to be it for this video if you want to see more on this please let me know down below in the comments let me know what sort of features you want me to add to this little mini game here maybe we can add in a gun you can hold to shoot or just a bunch of other things as well let me know what you want to see added to this game also i just want to say all the source code for this is now on the patreon so if you want to get access to all the source code for this game the link will be down below you can subscribe to the patreon um the wolf pup tier i believe it is the middle tier which will give you access access to um, all of the source code for any of the previous projects that have been listed you'll be able to see them before you actually um, come on my community post page before you actually subscribe you can see all of the ones listed there so guys if that interests you then don't forget to check out the link down below but that's going to be it for this video i will see you guys in the next one peace out